All right, rounding off um, the math, Montessori style, we're going to talk about games that teach math. So I'm going to review some of the games I have. I'm a game collector, so I have lots of games. I've had hundreds and hundreds of games, but these are some I just pulled out uh, quickly to show you some ideas of what you can get and, and put in front of your child. So um, tic-tac-toe is not necessarily numbers, but it's a game that's kind of associated with counting, you know. Um, anyway, I like tic-tac-toe. All you need is just some marbles. Uh, fun game. I'm going to kind of skip to my absolute favorite math game. Four-way countdown. You can do this with your child. It says six plus. That is ridiculous. If you're educating your child and spending your money and time wisely, your child can start this game at three years old. So, depends on what you're doing with your kid. But, four-way countdown. It teaches quantity with the symbols. It teaches adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. All in this one game. It's a progressive game, so basically the only moving parts would be these. Everything else is attached. It's all wood, and it's about $10 to $12 at Walmart. I ordered it online, so if they don't have it in the store, just order it online. Um, Four-way countdown. So you have two dice. The principle, uh, the goal is you're trying to get all of your numbers in the upward position like that. That's the goal. How you do that is you roll the dice and at the beginning it's quantity and symbol. So you would be able to put a four up and a one up. So that's how that would work. Now, obviously, one dice does not have a 10. It only has up to six. So you would teach them, they would count them together if they have the one and the four already up. Say they have the one and the four already up. They can count them all together. One, two, three, four, five. And then they could put a five up. So that's addition, but the child won't realize it. But it really is addition. So you're trying to get all your numbers up by rolling the dice and they will count the dots and associate it with the symbol. So they do need to know their numbers 1 through 10 and then they can associate quantity with the symbol. The next phase would be you can add the, um, well you already added the addition part to it, but subtraction would be next. 4 minus 3 is 1, so that's an option. You could put a 4 up and a 3 up, or you could put 7 up because you're adding, or you could put just a 1 up because you're subtracting. That would be the next phase. Then it would move on to multiplication, and then on to division, but you're adding the uh, choices and the options. You're not just strictly doing division or strictly doing multiplication. You're adding options to what they already know. So you could play with four people, or you could play with uh, a partner on each one, like an older child with a younger child or a parent with a younger child. But uh, Or when their friends come over, they can teach them. But I, every school that I've had, they've absolutely loved this game. And kids can learn... Uh, very quickly, all the way to multiplication. So, four-way countdown, totally worth every penny. Um, okay, so going into the next one, Discovery Toys. They have fabulous, really durable toys, educational toys. This one is called One, Two, Three, Go. It's basically a counting game. It has dice with the symbols on it. I highly suggest it, very durable. Trouble, if you haven't played Trouble, I don't know where you've been, but it doesn't mean your kid's getting in trouble, but you pop the top, it has a number, it has little markers that you're at home, and then you move around, 
and uh, so you're counting constantly, so that's fantastic. Um, you're wanting your child to develop concentration, and in trouble, if somebody knocks you back home, you have to kind of just deal with that and start all over, so it teaches patience um, and those kind of things, so I'm going to bring these down here, and I'll show those in a moment. This one, it's called Ring Around. It's made in Israel by ORDA Industries. I don't know if it's still where you can find it, but I found it at Goodwill for $1.99. A great teaching game. It just has these little rings. It has the numbers, but it's a progressive game. And dice, that's a good game. Now, Monopoly is for um, older children. Yes, it's complicated. No, it's not for younger children. However, don't just think about the full game. You can use the dice. You can use the pieces to teach vocabulary. You can use the money to, to uh, teach counting money. All before they can actually play the game. So you can use pieces to games uh, to teach stuff. So um, Payday is another one that's really good that has money and pieces and dice that you can use. Great game, Payday. So for older children, they can play the game. Younger children, you use the pieces. Okay, um, this one's called Phase 10. It's very similar to um, Yahtzee. So um, all it has is a bunch of dice and, and some score cards, but Phase 10, it's a really good game. All right. Um, here's another really fun game. It's called Mancala. And it's a really good uh, game for counting. And then um, there's kind of thinking, a lot of thinking involved too, but it moves very rapidly. And my kids actually really loved this game. And it's got these marbles, but they're flat, so they don't roll around. But they are choking hazards for small, small children, so be careful. But it's this wonderful game. It's all wood. And then mine has this kind of metal sleeve to protect it, but men color. Okay. Another one that's fabulous is Yahtzee. It's got a cup a bunch of dice, and a scorecard. And you're trying to get combinations of, of um, the dice. And so it says age eight, but I'm telling you, your three or four year old can learn this game. If you've been teaching their numbers and their quantities, they can easily do this game. So Yahtzee. Another one, bingo. Oh yeah, really good. Teaching the letters associated with numbers. Um, the bigger numbers, really fun game. My family, we played that. We played bingo. Uh, we play every year with, with little small prizes that everybody chips in and gets. And it's really fun. So you get to bingo lots of times. This one is bingo with money. So it's kind of cool because you have the big bingo card so you know what, what's been called out. But they have to, you know, say there's 10. They have to find something with the combination of 10. So they would need to know their uh, money increments. But that's another fun game is bingo with money. So play bingo with your kids a lot. It, it teaches them a lot. And this one's a puzzle, but it teaches the quantity. So it has 10 pencils minus one pencil equals nine and they have to do the puzzle to match it. So you can uh, play that as a game. It's called Play and Discover Mathematics. So that's a really cool, cool puzzle. It's by The Learning Journey. That's good. And even says three plus. Three plus can be doing uh, subtraction and addition easily. This one is called Exact Change. So they do need to know their money increments, but you really want your kids to be smart with money, to be think, think
thinking quick with money. So this has pictures of money, you know, what it's uh, equal to. Five pennies equal a nickel, two nickels equal a dime, and so on. And so it's making change and being able to be quick thinking with money increments and math. So it's called Exact Change by Continuum Games. And in 2007, it got the Seal of Excellence. That's fabulous. Um, this is kind of fun. It's Fractions Dominoes. That you never thought to play dominoes with fractions. So it has the pictures on one side and the actual fraction on the other, and you just play dominoes with this simple deck of cards. And they're learning fractions. So make things fun. Uh, dominoes is easy to learn, and um, it's something that you can be playing but educating your child versus digital games where they push a button. And it's not going to really help their education any. So please spend your money and your time wisely um, teaching your kids valuable things that they can use in their future. Um, subscribe, like, and please tell other people about the channel. Um, my goal is to help parents be able to better educate their children so that they're at the head of the class when they start school. And um, I hope it was helpful.